Oh, and we're back again. We're back again with fucking John Venables. No. John Venables is someone we spoke about before in my uh, You Are Not Allowed to See This Man's Face video. Uh, and the last time we left John Venables, he was in jail uh, for uh, for his second child porn conviction because he's such a wonderful gentleman. Uh, however, his parole is coming up and he's actually going to be going uh, applying for parole this year. However, when he gets released from jail, again, he will again be given another fake identity where, again, it's going to cost money to the taxpayer. And, again, he's going to blow his fucking cover, which means he'll again need to get given another identity because the man's a fucking idiot. Right? And James Bulger, who was the victim of John Venables, his father has said he wants the killer stripped of anonymity as he begs for public inquiry. James Bulger's father has renewed the call for a public inquiry and for his son's killer to be stripped of his anonymity. The toddler's murder, uh, murder is about to be debated in Parliament. And I'm very interested to see how this turns out. Also, sorry for like the layout of this, man. The Mirror's website is fucking unusable it's terrible uh, the father of toddler james bulger has revealed his son's murderer uh, son's mother is about to be debated in parliament in 2018 more than 200,000 people supported a petition from james's mum denise fergus calling for a public inquiry into the 1993 killing the government turned down the bid but now the subject is back on the on the political agenda <clears throat> and is to be and is poised jesus christ i'm sorry it's late uh, is poised to be discussed by MPs in the coming weeks. Two-year-old James, Bul uh, James Bulger was murdered by John Venables and Robert Thompson, both aged 10, almost 30 years ago. They were released on licence after serving eight years in secure children's units and were given lifetime anonymity. Venables, 39, has since been returned to prison twice for child abuse images and is still behind bars. But he has launched a new bid for parole and could be freed later this year. Notice could be. He's most likely going to have his parole rejected. A debate on the murder of James and its aftermath is now being considered by the House of Commons Petitions Committee. And James's father, Ralph Bulger, has renewed the call for a public inquiry and for Venables to be stripped of his anonymity. He also wants to be wants a probe into why the killers were released after just eight years and would like those behind the decision to be made accountable. Ralph has also called for an investigation into the possible sexual motives behind the murder and answers about why his family were not given counselling after their son's death. Yeah, they're... they're their family was pretty much left out to dry but fortunately like the whole community like united behind them so that was good uh he said he said told the mirror fuck's sake uh, a public inquiry is long overdue so we can flush out the truth about so many issues but top of my list must be why venables is still one of the very very few people in this country who still has lifelong anonymity despite his repeated offending against children i don't buy the argument that his life would be in danger if that was the case they would have to give secret identities to every child abuser and killer in the uk which you make a good point, however, every child abuser and killer in the UK is not John Venables, right? Like, when the John Venables, like, killing, when he killed James Bulger, that was, he was the front page of every single newspaper in the nation for months. Like, 30 years later, like, at least once a year, there will be, like, about a dozen across the media articles still released about this murder, Right, none of them quite had like the effect that the John Venables case had, and I think, you know, if it was some thirty-year-old guy that murdered him, then people would have went, "Oh, it's another child killer," and he would have still been reviled. But the fact is, John Venables was ten when he did it, and everyone was doing, "How can two ten-year-old boys do something so terrible?" And that's why it's such a huge deal, right? And uh, <laughs> so we covered it before, and that's the is that the end of the article? No, it's not. I'll, I'll go into it at the end. He added, I said from day one that the attack on James was sexual, but because the killers were just 10, no one could get their head around it. The evidence was there, but it was swept under the carpet. The public deserves to know everything about this case, including why those in authority believed they had been rehabilitated. James's murder took me and my entire family to the brink of despair, and yet we got nothing. No counselling, moral support, or help. Yet, James's killers were treated with kid gloves, given every luxury, and looked after by the best psychiatrists, doctors, and counsellors in the land. He added, there is a mountain of issues to address and the truth needs to come out he had yeah i'm sorry he's got points man man's man's got points man's got fuck off
Man's got points that definitely need addressed. Uh, a 2018 online petition uh, calling for a public inquiry received almost 214,000 signatures. The government rejected the call, but weeks later, Petitions Committee agreed MPs could discuss the issues in Parliament. And now, four years later, the debate is set to happen. Ralph, 55, who lost a legal challenge to Venable's anonymity order in 2019, said a public inquiry is long overdue so we can flush out the truth to so many issues. My family has been lied to by the authorities for nearly 30 years and we owe it to James to know what really went on. I have so many questions that need answering and only an open, independent inquiry can address them. All victims and their families should be treated with more respect and dignity. At the end of the day, I want to see true transparency in this case. I want answers to the questions that have burned inside me for almost 30 years. And there's like the infamous picture of uh, James being led away. Like there's James, that's John. And that's... Uh, I forget the other guy's name because the other guy has actually disappeared. Was it Scott? Scott Thompson, I, I believe. Uh, timeline... February 1993, James Bulger is snatched from the Strand Shopping Centre in Bootle, Merseyside. His body is found two days later on a railway line. John Ven Robert Thompson, sorry. John Venables and Robert Thompson, both age 10, are later arrested. November 1993, the pair are convicted of James's murder at Preston Count Court, Court. You should. I've got the footage of all the stuff that happened outside the court. You want to see the crowd. They were going to kill them. They would have dragged those two 10-year-olds out the van and killed them. Right, honestly, it's fucking mental. July 1994, the eight-year sentence set by the trial judge, which was increased to 10 years by Lord Chief Justice Lord Taylor of Gosforth, uh, is increased to 15 years by the Home Secretary Michael Howard. October 2000, Lord Chief Justice uh, Lord Wolfe reinstates the trial judge's original tariff, paving the way for their release. January of 2001, the killers are granted life li lifetime anonymity and freed the following June. And there's the only pictures we ever got of them. Well, there are pictures out there. People keep sending them to me. Look, it's not a case. It's not a case of like I'm dumb and I'm like, oh, I know there's pictures out there, but I'm not going to look. I've seen them, right? I have them. I have the pictures, right? I know what John Venables looks like. Well, at least at varying stages of his life, right? I know what he looks like, but stop sending them to me, right? Because and most of the people that send them to me are people from Britain. Right? That is you breaking the law. You are breaking the anonymity order. You can be arrested and charged for doing that. Simply possessing the images, right, that's fine. Right? You can do that. But sending them to someone is breaking the law. At least in Britain. If you're American, fucking go nuts. You can do what you want. Uh, March 2010, uh, Venables has returned to prison after breaching the terms of his release. Uh, July 2010, Venables admits child porn offences and is jailed for two years. Uh, July 2013, Venables is granted parole. November 2017, Venables is recalled to prison. And then in February 2018, he's jailed for 40 months for possession of child porn. So he's been caught with child porn twice. Uh, September 2020, Venables is refused parole. And then February of this year, he starts a new bid for parole. Okay, now, and I had a, I had a nice big fucking huge rant about this on uh, Twitter. Now... Let's say, now they would just say, sorry, just to set the scene. Venables at this point has been given, I believe, seven or eight new identities. And that means he gets put in an area like with furniture, like new cards, new this, new that. He's been given a job. He's also been given like government money and everything as well, right? He's given all of these things like furniture, a house, all manners of different fucking things as well as whole new identities, new passports, new driver's licenses, blah, 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 new birth certificate, all that crap, right? All of that costs an awful lot of money to the taxpayer, especially with the police always having to watch him, right? Like, watch him to make sure that people don't find him and kill him. And on several occasions, he has outright told people, like, he'll meet a new group of friends and he'll start hanging about with them and he'll be all friendly with them. And all the pictures I've seen, he's drinking and fucking eating pizza at parties and, like, all this other type of stuff and chilling with his newfound friends. And then one night, he'll get really, really drunk and he'll have too much cocaine in him and he'll turn around to all his friends and go, by the way, my name's not Dan, I'm John Venables, <laughs> right? And to which all of his new friends, I don't know what's going on there. Off-duty police officer restrained a teenager who threatened kids with a knife. Oh, well, there you go. Lovely. Um, he'll turn around to all his friends and tell them who he is 
And then he'll be like, oh, but you're my friends and you'll understand. <laughs> and they never have. They never have. No. They uh, immediately kick him out, uh, stop talking to him, and then tell everyone in the area, yeah, that's, that's John Venables. <laughs> that's, that's fucking John Venables. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, he, he ends up having to get ghosted away from that area and then given a new house, new furniture, new identity, blah, blah, blah. And it costs millions and millions to the taxpayer each time. Now, this is this is a hypothetical, right? If, if say that you were in this scenario, right? A pack of hungry lions are after a man. And the man says, can you protect me from the pack of hungry lions? So I build the man a hut. And I say, there you go. If you stay inside that hut and don't come outside and don't let them know you're there, you will be completely safe. The man goes into the hut. And then 30 seconds later, he comes out and yells, hey, lions, I'm over here. Right? And it's like that exact point that it immediately becomes not my fucking problem anymore. Right? If he wants to blow his identity, his problem, his issue. He did that. It shouldn't be up to us. I don't like paying fucking taxes, but unfortunately I'm forced to because the state is a monopolist on violence. But I have to pay my taxes that go towards this fucking dickhead getting a new identity every time because he can't keep his fucking mouth shut. Right? I say, if he wants to go out there and poke his head above the fucking trenches, leave him with the lions. Right? I'm sorry. Leave him with the lions. You know what would be a lot cheaper? Just someone doing him in and just having one murder trial. There you go. Right? So much fucking cheaper. Like, I'm government, I know. You try you try your hardest. You did your best. You did your best. Unfortunately, the retard keeps poking his fucking head out and telling everybody who he is. Hey, by the way, I'm the guy that murdered a 10-year-old boy and then fucking got caught with hunters and nonce images like several fucking times. I'm sorry. Look, he's had it. He's had it, right? Release him, put him somewhere, give him a new identity. You know, everybody gets one, right? And then if he goes, I'm John Venables, Leave him to it. Leave him to it and just turn up the next day with some chalk. Right? It's, it's his fucking problem. Right? It's not the taxpayer's problem. It's not the public's problem. It's his fucking problem. Right? If he wants to, if he wants to tell the lions <laughs> where he is, then the lions can fucking have him.